Uh, welcome learners. In our lesson today, we look at the type of titration called back titration. Now, back titration involves three reagents. That is a methyl or a methyl carbonate, an acid, and an alkali. The reaction occur as follows. The metal or a metal carbonate is added into an original acid. And then the remaining acid, called excess acid, is then reacted with the alkali with the aim of one determining mass in grams of the metal or metal carbonate, determining the percentage purity of the metal carbonate. Determining the relative formula mass of the metal or a metal carbonate. Determining the concentration. Determining the concentration of the acid or alkali. Now, for aim 1, 2, and 3, the steps followed to answer any of those aims are as follows. Step 1. Determine the number of moles of the alkali by taking MV of 1000. Then step 2. Write the equation between the alkali and the acid. Step 3. Use more ratio to find the number of moles of the excess acid. Step 4. Determine the number of moles of original acid by taking molarity times volume of 1000. Step 5. Determine the number of moles of acid that reacted the metal or metal carbonate by taking original moles of the acid minus the excess moles of the acid. As you take the moles in step 4 minus the moles in step 3. Then you write the equation between the acid and the metal carbonate or a metal. Then step seven, you use small ratio to find the number of moles of the metal carbonate or metal. Then step eight, you solve the aim of the experiment, e.g. when finding RFM, you say mass in grams over number of moles in step seven. Now, in a situation where the excess acid is dissolved in water and solution made up to a given volume like 200, 250 or 500, and then a given volume from that 200, 250 or 500 like, like 20 or 25 is used to react the alkali, then and then a new step is added to step 3. Besides that, you will have to find the number of moles of excess acids in the new volume, that is 200, 250, or 500. How will you find that? You will take the volume reacted, e.g. 20 or 25, is equal to the number of moles in the mole ratio for about 250, or 200, or 500. Then step 5 will be obtained as original moles of the acid minus the excess moles of the acid in the 250 or 200 or 500. Example of a question. 2 grams of a metal carbonate, M carbonate, was dissolved in 80 centimeter strips of 1 molar dilute regular acid and the resultant solution diluted to 500 cm strips. 25 cm strips of the solution required 20 cm strips of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization. Calculate the RM of the metal M in M carbonate. Now, to solve this question, a student will have to follow the following steps. 1. Determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, MV of 1000. Write the question between sodium hydroxide and the nucleic acids. 
Use small ratio to determine the number of moles of excess acids in 2500 tubes as the volume is selected. Determine the number of moles of excess acids in 500 centimeters cubes by saying 25 centimeters cubes contains the moles except 3. What about 500 centimeters cubes? Then determine the number of moles of volatile and nucleic acids. That is by saying molarity times volume of 1000. Then determine the number of moles of nucleic acids that react with the M carbonate by taking the number of moles by taking the original moles of the acid minus the moles of excess acid in 500 centimeter script. Then write the equation between the metal carbonate and the nucleic acid. Then use mole ratio to determine the number of moles of the M carbonate. Then the last step, determine the relative formula mass of the M carbonate and find the value of M. Now solution will be number of moles of sodium hydroxide, MV of 1000, that is 20 times 0 0.1 of 1000, gives you 0 0.02 moles. So equation N sodium hydroxide plus HCl, sodium chloride plus water, more ratio is 1 to 1. From the moles of 1 to 1, the moles of excess acid in 25 centimeters cubes is 0 0.002 moles. The moles of excess acid in 500 centimeters cubes is obtained as follows. 25 centimeters cubes contains 0 0.002 moles. What about 500 centimeters cubes? Cross multiply 0 0.002 moles times 500 centimeters cubes over 25 centimeters cubes is equal to 0 0.04 moles. Moles of original nucleic acids is molarity times volume of 1000 which is 80 times 1 over 1000, gives you 0 0.08 moles. Moles of acid that reacted to M carbonate will be original moles of HCl minus excess moles of HCl in 500 centimeters cubed, which is 0 0.08 moles minus 0 0.04 moles, which gives 0 0.04 moles. Question between M carbonate and the chloric acid is MCO3 plus HCl gives you MCL2 plus CO2 plus water. Balance the question, less 2 where there's HCl. More ratio is 1 to 2. Moles of the M carbonate is obtained as follows 2 contains 0 0.04 moles or about 1. Cross multiply, you get 0 0.02 moles. Molar mass of the M carbonate will be obtained by mass in grams over number of moles, which is 2 grams over 0 0.02 moles gives you 100 grams per mole, which RFM therefore is equal to 100. To find the value of M, we say M plus 12 plus 16 times 3 is equal to 100. M plus 60 is equal to 100. M is equal to 100 minus 60. Which is equal to 40. Learners, so this is the end of the lesson. The next lesson, look at a sample property equation where you are finding percentage purity 